Hello. Gonna wait and see if people can jump on here, and I'm gonna look on my phone to see. Sometimes, most of the time, my MacBook doesn't show me if people are watching me or not. So, let me pull this. Show me if people are watching me or not. Oh, I can hear myself. That's not cool. So. Okay. So Jennifer asked me to go live and uh, just talk to you all about anything that maybe I thought could really help anybody. And so I feel like one of the biggest things going on right now is the um, incentive trip qualification period where we are trying to all earn ourselves either a free reunion registration or a free cruise or free cruise with a guest. So let's talk incentives. Um, I do not have notes or, I mean, like up to date notes or anything for this. Uh, I have literally been running around like 24 7. Um, and I've been running around doing stuff, running errands all day long today. So just excuse me if I'm a little bit of scatterbrained because I have the attention span of a nap. So, don't look at me, Brandon, or I'll put you on live. Um, what? <laughs> what if I do? You don't find out. You don't want to go live? Um, so I'm going to talk a little bit about how to earn this incentive trip, and. I'm looking for, uh, through a few of my notes from some previous YouTube videos that I have. Hey, Jen. What's up? <laughs> and, um, okay, let's just wait and see if more people can come. Enjoy that. Can you see my eyelashes? I got eyelash extensions. If you build it, they will come. If you build it, they will come. <laughs> That's how I feel about like a pizza place of will or something. Jen said, hey. He says, hello. So this incentive trip is going to be a seven knot Mediterranean cruise. And we will be going, and I say we because I have not earned the trip yet, but I'll get there. Um, you see my eyelashes? <laughs> but um, I'll get to the point of why I say that we are going before I have even earned this trip. But we will be going to Spain, Italy, um, the other place I can never remember. So somebody tagged below, call me at where's the third place that we will be going other than Italy and uh, Spain. But um, one reason why I joined Cincy is because my sponsor had told me that as consultants, you were eligible to earn yourself some free trips. Uh, she earned herself a free trip to Putacana, Dominican Republic this summer. And I thought, you know, I didn't really think that um, I could ever earn a trip or earn really anything. I just always feel like those kind of things are always for the people at the very, very top. You know, like people that go over and beyond and... They do literally everything right. They have everything organized. They don't forget things. Like I, I've never been that person that always, you know, to ever really just earn stuff like that and be, you know, like one of the number one. And um, but I figured, well, I don't try. And um, I joined thinking that I wouldn't, you know, I didn't know how I was going to do with Cincy, but the last seven, eight months, it has really blessed our lives, and that's a whole other story. But we are not here for my CNC store today. See, I almost got her brain. But, um, hey, everybody. I'm watching who is watching me on my phone. <laughs> but I want to say the first thing that you need to know whenever you're trying to earn this incentive trip is consistency and being positive. Because I'm not kidding. I'm a true believer in karma. I'm a true believer in, you know, you get what you like you work for. I'm a true believer in, you know, 
you're going to get out of, you're going to get something out of whatever you put into it. Like hard work, it's going to pay off. Even if hard work doesn't pay off, like today, you know, since he has a turnaround period of 90 days, what you're doing today for your business is going to pay off for you in 90 days. But the thing is to get that payoff in 90 days, you're going to have to work every single day on day 12 or day 20 or day 30, you're going to have to work as hard every single day until day 90 until whatever you did three months ago is going to start paying off for you. And whenever I say that, I mean it. And one thing that the biggest thing that can always get you down and uh, keep you from being positive about your Cincy business and earning this trip and staying consistent is yourself. You in there, your mind. This is what is going to bring you down. By the end of the day, nobody can say or do anything that can bring you down other than yourself. You have to just remember that. Even on the days that I'm tired and I don't want to do any Cincy or the days that I don't feel good or I don't really feel like being on social media or posting in my VIP group or you know really talking to my team or going through my downline reports, like you have to do at least one thing for your business every single day. So I make these goals for me. I post at least one time in my Cincy, my VIP group for my customers, at least once every single day. There might have been two or three days in the last seven or eight months that I did not post. It was probably like on a really, really busy weekend or um, I've been sick, you know, and whenever I'm sick, I can't get nothing done. That's just me. But, um, but I work on my Cincy business every single day. And if you want to, if you want this business to take you seriously, you have got to take the business seriously. If you treat it like a business and if you treat your Cincy life like a business, it is going to treat you like a business. It's going to start paying off for you in ways that you never thought possible whenever you pay that $99 or that $49 starter kit fee. So whenever I say you have to be positive, you have to be consistent, you have to. Because another thing, you know, us Cincy consultants, we wouldn't have a Cincy business if it wasn't for our customers. And so if you post and you post and you post and you post and you're all about Cincy and you love Cincy and it's changed in your life, and then you go some weeks and you don't post one thing about Cincy, you don't bring up anything. You don't post any products. You don't say anything about like what it's done for you this week. If you don't say nothing about Cincy and then you just start picking back up whenever the like incentive period starts again and you need to earn this trip and you need all these points and you need these sales and you were MIA for two to three weeks or a month or however long, then how do you think your customers are going to take you seriously? Because I'm telling you these days, in this day and age, direct sales is one of the biggest things that everybody is into because everybody is trying to um, hit it big without having to do any work. Just they think you can pay a starter fee and it's going to do all the work for you and you're just going to make it to the top and you're not going to be able to quit your job or you're going to be able to pay this off but then again nobody wants to do the work there's people out there like that because there's so many direct sales companies out there there's Cincy and then there's like Unique and Mary Kay and 31 which I love and Lula Rowe and all in like Rodan and Fields is a skincare one I think but like there's so many direct sales companies out right now and to join a direct sales company you all you have you don't have to be recruited you don't have to be hired like you literally just pay that fee whatever kind of fee or starter qualification and you start it so if everybody's gonna do it and everybody's gonna do direct sales and they're gonna post and they're gonna post and they're gonna post then how is a customer going to be able to distinctly pick you out of that group and know that you're taking your business seriously and want to shop from you. Like if you're not taking it seriously, then why is a customer going to take you serious? Why would a customer take you seriously? I mean, you just have to think about it because there might be family and friends that, you know, no matter what, um, you know, they'll shop from you or they'll buy whatever they'll help you out. But then again, you can't run a successful Cincy business long term on your family and friends. You have to branch out from your family and friends, family and friends, and then their family and friends. You have to meet people. You have to network. You have to branch yourself out. And if people don't know you, hey, if people don't know you, then how are they going to take you seriously whenever they're also seeing 
somebody posts about this direct sales business or this direct sales business or that one on their Facebook, and it's literally covering up the whole Facebook feed. You have to take it seriously. So then they'll take you seriously too. And that ties in with the positivity and the consistency. So the next thing I had on my list from one of my last videos is step out of your comfort zone. So you're being positive, you're being consistent, you know, you're taking your business seriously. But whenever I say st like step out of your comfort zone, I mean literally do something that scares the crap out of you. Because if you're not doing something that scares you every day, then you're not growing. I mean, I know it sounds harsh, but you're not going to get anywhere. You're going to stay at that same level if you keep doing what you're doing. If you want a different outcome or if you want a, a better outcome or more success, you're going to have to branch out of those other ways to get there. And the one way that I started uh, branching out, um, I think the first thing I had done that really scared the crap out of me was go live. Uh, I told myself for a week straight whenever I ordered my, my shooting star kit that I would go live in my VIP group and I would uh, show everybody what's in it. I had never been live before. I'm not the person to go live. I'm not the person to talk on video. I mess up my words all the time. I'm, I'm goofy. You know, I don't care what I look like. I don't want to get dressed up. And I would tell myself every single day, like, I'm not going to chicken out. I'm going to go live. And then my shooting star kit got, uh, came in the mail, and I literally wanted to talk myself out of it because I was terrified. Like, what if people don't watch? What if people don't even watch, like, you know, later, whenever I keep it posted on my Facebook? What if people don't comment? You know, what if I don't get, like, a lot of reaction from it? What if I mess up my words? What if I don't know what I'm talking about? What if I don't know what an element warmer is or a wattage is? You know, what if somebody asks me a question? I don't know. I was literally talking myself out of it. And after that video that I did, I did go live. Uh, I was not myself. I was very calm and relaxed. Um, I was very calm and relaxed, and I wasn't, you know, like myself, I guess, to say, like, you know, goofy and laughing and making stupid jokes and having my attention span everywhere. Like, that that's me, but I wasn't me in that first video. And whenever I had into that live feed, I was literally sweating through my clothes because I was so nervous but then I posted it to my Facebook and then I posted it to my YouTube channel which was my first YouTube video ever and I say that like I've been YouTubing for like five years but I haven't but I posted it to YouTube and whenever people started watching it and just knowing that like people were responding and like watching it in my VIP group because you know they know that I never go live I don't do these things like this I literally felt so alive like, I was, like, watching, I kept watching my video over, and I was like, I don't even know who that is. Like, that's me, but I don't know who that is. Like, who that, I need to watch my language. But who is that? Um, since when do I go live on Facebook? Since when do I post videos on YouTube? I don't even know how to use YouTube. And that was the first thing I did to step out of my comfort zone. And video, the reason why I told you that comfort zone video, or story is because video is so crucial whenever you're running a direct sales business that is based mainly on social media. Um, yes, it's 2017. Yes, we have the opportunity to, you know, run our businesses through social media. Um, since he's been around since what, 2004, back then we didn't really, I mean, I don't, I think it was in my space. Like, I don't know how people even did it. You know, like how do you connect to people that aren't like, just, you know, kids you go to school with, you know, I was in fourth grade. And, um, but video, it's powerful. I promise. I have met so many people since I started doing video and they started watching me and from YouTube and everything. Um, people don't care what you look like. Don't be scared. People don't care if you mess up your words. If you are really that terrified, there's an app or there's like a software that can edit your videos, which I love because most of my YouTube videos are edited. So I don't have to worry about if I forget what I'm going to say or if I mess something up. I just, you know, I know that I can edit it. And what I love doing is editing it and posting it and, you know, sharing with it because people watch it. People from across the U.S., like everywhere, have watched me on YouTube. I've had people um, who are consultants message, find me on Facebook and message me and um, ask me questions how I did this or how I did that or if I could make a video showing how – um, I bag my Cincy orders. Um, I've had people join my team who aren't in Tennessee, who aren't around me, who don't never would have known me if they wouldn't have found me on YouTube, which is awesome. That was one thing. I really wanted to step up my 
out of my comfort zone. I really had that goal to recruit somebody out of the state that's not from this area or the Alabama because we're right on the line. And I did it, and it's a thrill, and I love it. And YouTube brought me that. Video brought me that. Whenever you make a video and you're talking about anything, whatever it is, but people can see your face, they can hear your voice, they can see your personality, and that's whenever they can really connect with you. And the power of going live on Facebook is just phenomenal because whenever you're live, people can comment, and you can actually have a conversation with them while you're live on Facebook. Like, People love, I'm not in a mean way, but people love putting their opinion out there. Like if you get on there and you ask like what warmer you should put where, people love giving their opinions. People are really opinionated, you know, and if you give them that chance, they're going to do it. And, uh, dang it, my team just man. <laughs> but, like, whenever they can connect with you, that is going to build a bigger bond with you and that customer or... Um, that were free of yours than just them scrolling and seeing pictures and pictures and pictures and pictures maybe that you did make but a lot of pictures that you didn't make that you might have found on Pinterest and that you share or just words you type in like you can't you know you can't really connect and you know meet that person I mean you can on video like it's hard but you can on video it's a lot easier on video and actually Facebook now I believe they offer the option where you can invite somebody to go live on you I've, with you I've seen somebody do it. It's like in my screen, I can invite somebody to go live with me, and then their face or my face, either one, would be in the screen. Kind of like when you're FaceTiming, you know, your face is the main one, and the person's in the corner. And like whoever is watching your live feed, like you, they can hear both of you. Like you're having a conversation while you're getting comments, and then y'all both can respond. Like that's perfect for a team meeting or something like that. Like face, I mean, social media just makes it so much easier for us and our Cincy businesses. And you just, you, you've got to step out of your comfort zone. If you want that trip, if you want that promotion, if you want that recruit, if you want to meet more people, if you want to be yourselves, you have got to step out of your comfort zone. If you're scared of talking to people in person, find an event at your local, um, high school or middle school or elementary school, like a fall festival or something like that. There's going to be tons of fall festivals and spring run things. I don't remember what's in elementary school, but um, thank you. And um, find an event. My first event, I almost turned around and went home. It was free. Somebody had asked me to do it. I didn't find it. But I literally was driving to my event, and I was like, I had both of my hands on the wheel, and I was shaking, and I was like, I can't do this. I can't talk to people that I don't know. I get red. I get nervous. I, I start sweating, and I mess up my words, and I've only been a consultant for less than a month. Like, what if I don't, what if they ask me a question that I, I don't know, and I'm going to look like an idiot? I almost talked myself out of doing it, but I did it. And once I did that one, I went home and I looked for more events, and then I started doing more events, and then I started doing this, and then I started doing that. And, like, once you just... Once you step out of that comfort zone and do something that you didn't say that you was ever going to be able to do, like, it will seriously, like, light a spark in you, I promise. Because it's going to tell you that, oh, I just did this. That means that I can do that. And if I can do that, then I can do this. And if I can do this, I can reach this level. You can do it. You don't have to, you just don't limit yourself. And I, the next bullet I had on my list was try new things. Um, same thing that goes with stepping out of your comfort zone. You've got to try new things. Like I said earlier, if you want a new result, you're going to have to do something different because if you keep doing the same thing over and over again, guys, you're just not going to get anywhere, I promise. It's, it's, I mean, it's not just with Cincy or like work or, I mean, like in school, like if you want a better grade, but you study the same like you always study, like you're not going to get a better grade on that test. Or if you're in a crappy relationship or something like that and, you know, you want a better life and you want a better relationship, it's, it's, it's not going to get better unless you change what you're doing. And the same thing with Cincy. You can't just expect all these sales to come. Like, the sales don't come to me. The recruits don't come to me. Like, I reach my hand out there, and I grab them myself, and I make myself go out there, and I make myself get them. And if I fail sometimes, that's fine. Because whenever I fail once, that means that I go on to the next time, and that might be a check mark for me. Like, you can't think like that. You literally have to be fearless. I have fearless tattooed on my arm. Not for Cincy, but just other reasons I've had this for a while. But you have got to do it. Just do it. Just just jump out and do it. Because if you do it and you do an event and 
you get nervous or, you know, you don't really meet people, so what? You know what? That wasn't the event. Go to the next one. There's going to be an event where somebody's going to see you and they're going to see what you're doing. And they're either going to want to host a party or they're going to want to do what you're doing and change their lives because you, they see you doing it. And whenever they see you doing it, whenever people see you doing it, they're thinking in their mind, oh, if she can, I can. You have got to think like that. And the biggest thing about earning these incentive trip points, which I can't vow, like I can't talk like I've earned one before because I haven't. I only joined since you back in February. But I have had this on my goal list for like seven, eight months now. Like ever since I joined, this was on my goal list. I told Brandon that um, I was taking, we were going on whatever kind of trip um, since he was giving us, but I was going to earn it and it was going to be for free. And that me and he were going, not just me, we both were going. And I gave myself no option. And then whenever they announced that it was a cruise, I personally and honestly am terrified of cruise ships. One of my biggest fears ever in life is to drown. I can swim. I'm fine with swimming, but I'm not like a huge swimmer person. I don't like going to water parks. Like I just, whenever I go to the beach, I am perfectly fine with standing in the water, like waist, like waist high. You know, I don't want to go swimming. I don't want to play in the waves. I'm terrified of boats. The only kind of boat I like going on is like on the river or the lake where you're not going to the shore. And I have literally told myself before that I will never go on a cruise. He wanted to go on a cruise for our honeymoon because they're all inclusive and you don't have to worry about it. I said, no, I was like, I can't. So like, we're going to have to fly somewhere. We're going to have to do something because I cannot get myself on a cruise. And you do not know how shattered I felt whenever since he announced that the incentive trip for 2018 is a cruise. Like I have had nightmares. I had nightmares a week after the, the they announced that it was a cruise about us going on the cruise and you know it's I don't want to even say it because it was a nightmare you know I've had two or three nightmares already but I'm still working my butt off to earn this cruise because nothing is going to stop me and you have got to think like that with CNC with direct sales whatever you're doing in life you've got to think like that the only person who can stop you is you and even though I am terrified of cruises my butt is going to be on a cruise and it's going to be with everybody. And I'm not going to let anybody stop me. And I might be hyperventilating whenever I'm on the cruise. I don't even want to think about it, but I'm going and I'll be there. And I'll get me some really good, like, seasickness and anxiety measures. <laughs> I'm so terrified, but it's not going to stop me. And the next thing on my list from these notes, and this is a huge, 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 huge thing if you want to earn this incentive trip with Cincy in 2018. You've got the offer, the opportunity. You have got to offer and give the opportunity to other consultants. You have got to talk to people. You have got to reach out. You have got to meet new people because people aren't going to walk up to you every day and be like, hey, I'm going to join Cincy. I'm going to be a lead consultant. I'm going to get you to that trip. No. It's not how it's going to work. They're not going to mess. Not everybody. I mean, I do have people that have messaged me, but that's because they have seen me over the last seven, eight months being consistent and being positive and loving my business and really sharing my story of like what since he's doing for me and like what I'm doing in it. Like I have had those people who just message me and talk to me about it, but not everybody's going to do that, guys, especially if you're new. I mean, if, if you're brand new as a consultant, you know, like, Oh, you don't have a story to tell yet. You know, like you're still writing your story. And you have got to offer the opportunity. You've got to show people what it can do for them. You have got to show people um, all the benefits of being a sensing consultant and how it can change your life. You don't have to make up stories about like how it's changed your life if you're brand new because it has it, you know? Like, but you just, you got to share it. And research says that one out of every 10, hey, one out of every 10 people that you contact about joining your team, one's going to be interested. And out of every 10 people who are interested, one's going to join you. That's what research says. That's the ratios. So if you want to gain four new team members in a month, so four weeks span, and you want to gain one a week, you're going to have to talk to 10 people a week. 
So that's 40 people. You're going to have to talk to 40 people in four weeks and offer the opportunity. And you're going to have to hope that one of them, or actually well, four of them, <laughs> at least, are interested. And like whenever I say message them, don't don't word vomit, don't freak them out, don't just jump on their you know their Facebook Messenger or you know text message or Instagram message. Don't jump down and be like yada yada yada. You know you can do this, and you all you have to do is enter in a two hundred dollar order every once every three months, and you have, just have to do this, and I'll be your sponsor, and I have an upline. Don't do that because once you do that and you freak them out, they're gonna say see ya, and they're not even gonna want to talk to you again probably. Message somebody, hey, have you ever thought about joining Cincy? I'm having a lot of fun. If I've really liked it, and I think maybe you would like it. And if you ever know anybody that might enjoy being a Cincy consultant, let me know. I'd, li I'd like to talk to them. That's all you got to say. Personalize it if you want to. Add their name. Hey, Amy. Or, hey, Sarah. Do the, you know, have you ever thought about being a Cincy consultant? If you don't think it'd be for you, do you know if you ever know anybody that does, send them my way because I love to give them more information and help them. I've really been liking being a Cincy Consult and I love the products. Just, just you've got to make the conversations. You've got to step out of that comfort zone. You've got to make the conversations. You have got to build that bond with somebody. You have got to let them relate to you. You have got to reach out because not everything's going to be handed to you. Um, people have asked me how I've hit 2,000 PRV in a month. I it didn't get handed to me. It wasn't all for me posting and posting and posting my VIP group. It was for me talking to people, telling them you know, or asking them, you know, I have an order going in. Do you want anything I really think you'd like or I really think your mom would like it or I really think your brother would like car bars. Um, I have reached out and talked to people. Hey, you know, if you host a party with me, yada, yada, yada. Um, I've gotten those hostesses and I've gotten those orders and not all of them have been from me just posting and posting and posting product stuff on my VIP group. You have got to reach out and you've know, got to make, you you got to go for the no. That's a book that a lot of CNC consultants like. I haven't really read it yet. I haven't really had the time just yet, but I know it's on Amazon and you can purchase it. I think it's like, it's a really affordable book. It's called Go For No. And Whenever you're talking to those 10 people a day or a week or whatever, looking for that one recruit or that one interested hostess or new customer, you've got to go for the no because you know that not everybody's going to respond to you and be like, okay, I'll join. I'll sign up right now. It's not going to happen. You have got to go for that no. And if they read your message and they don't reply, you can't, don't take it to heart because sometimes people are just busy or sometimes they're just not ready or sometimes they just, you know, they're not, not really interested and they don't know what to say to you. But you never know because those people can message you a few months down the road and they can come back. Great customer service. You've got to relate with people. You have got to be a human being because there are direct sales people's, people out there that are just are the robots. They're complete robots and that might be why their business is starting to crash. But you don't need yours to crash because you need yours to soar so you can earn that trip and you can cruise. Um, so recruiting is going to be a huge thing for earning this trip because you not only you earn like one point off every P one PRV that you get, um, you earn your promotion points, which comes with recruiting, recruiting, you can, you know, and I mean, I'm not doing this video to go through the incentive tr uh, trip points thing table, I guess. I'm really tired. It's been a long day, <laughs> but um, you have got to, sorry, someone just messaged me. But you can't just earn yourself. If you want those 30,000 points, you can't just sell 30,000 PRV in six months because it's not going to work like that. You're going to have to have something else. So you're going to have to have six. If you want to hit level four and get 30,000 uh, points for the incentive, 6,000 of those have to be something from not your PRV, which means it has to be from personal promotions, which are going to come with uh, recruiting or Consistency, which means staying consistent in your business and taking it seriously, or recruiting. Because whenever you recruit somebody and they reach the title of certified within this six month period for this qualification, the, the incentive trip, you're going to get points off that. You can earn points off your front lines um, sensational start. I mean, whenever you recruit somebody, you don't just recruit them and just like leave them be because you, you're there for any, they join under you, you're their sponsor. 
you're there for any questions that they have. It is their business, but some people take the independent consultant part a little too far because even though you're an independent consultant and it's your business and only your business, you do have a sponsor. You're their sponsor. It's just you earn points off your recruits. And while you're earning points off yourself and you're recruiting and you're sharing the opportunity and you're building your team, and not just for the qualification period, but for your your future in Cincy. While you're building that team this fall, you're also earning points off these off this part of it. So like, it's just it's all gonna collide. <laughs> I don't have any other words. I'm not a public speaker. Um, it's just that's just whenever I think of how I want myself to earn this trip with my fiance. Well, he'll be my husband at the time. But whenever I think of why I run around like a chicken with its head cut off all day long, every single day, um, tired as crap, but I'm still I'm still working my business, either talking to people 24-7 or I'm being a director and I'm being the leader that I need to be while I'm also doing laundry or I also haven't even taken a shower or I'm wearing his clothes, you know, like I haven't even, we just ate dinner and I had to eat dinner in five minutes because I'm going live and I want to talk to y'all. Like, Whenever I'm thinking of all this and all this hard work I'm putting into it and I'm saying consistent, I'm being positive, I just know it's it's going to pay off. It's going to pay off. And if you do the same thing, it's going to pay off for you. And I just want all of y'all to know that I'm always here for questions. Um, I am getting married in 10 days, so I am a little <laughs> I am a little busy. But um, whenever I'm back from the honeymoon, I'm going to have a lot more free time on me. But I don't care what question it is. If anybody ever needs my help or just can't, you know, I like can't reach out to the sponsor at the time because they might be busy or they really need like an emergency. Like I promise I will respond no matter what, how long the time response, the time of the response is. Like I will respond. I promise. You just have to give me a little wiggle room because I'm getting married in 10 days. So I am a little lot busy. So. My sponsor is great. It aggravates me because I lost the potential to another sponsor because she lives in the same town, and now she's coming with to me with for help because her sponsor. Am I? Sucks. Well, you know what you gotta do. You you got. Just keep moving on. You know, if you help that person that isn't even your downline, and they're coming to you because they're looking up to you and they want that leadership, it's gonna pay off. Karma is real. Your hard work will pay off. I promise. It does suck that situation. It does suck being in a small town sometimes. Um, sometimes situations just happen. You can't control it. But you can control how you react to it. So just stay positive and keep working. And my challenge for this live video chat is I want every single one of you who watches this video I want you to talk to, you're welcome, <laughs> I want every single one of you to talk to 10 people this week by the end of Sunday, I'm giving you a deadline, Sunday at midnight, whatever time zone you are in, I want you to talk to 10 people, whether it's, if you see them out in person or message them on Facebook, Facebook Messenger is awesome because it's like directly talking to somebody. But then again, it's not like as direct as a text message. So if people are really busy, they can check in, but they don't get aggravated. You know what I mean? But whether it's to that or whether it's just calling, I want you to talk to 10 people. And I want you to offer the opportunity and say some reasons why you joined Cincy and what you think it could do for them. Don't be a broken record. Don't send the same message to everybody. Say, you got to make it personal. How can it benefit them and their lives and their family or whatever they're going through at the moment? And whenever you talk to those 10 people, no matter what the outcome is, no matter how many people respond to you, I want you to comment on this video. Let me know. Tag me so I can see it. Um, I want you to let me know you talk to 10 people. And no matter what the outcome is, <laughs> Good. If you're nervous, that means that you're scared. And if you can do it, you're going to feel a lot better about it. Promise. Promise. But no matter what the outcome is of talking to 10 people, I want you to move on. That's fine. If you want to try again next week, do 10 people next week. Then the next week. Do that. But I do not want you to put your head down 
and be like, I tried to send people and nobody responded to me. They just read my messages. Because you don't know that. People are going to still watch you. They might talk to you six months from now, a year from now. You never know. you got to stay positive. Don't be the worry work because if you are, it's not going to pay off. You have to be genuine and you have to be happy. You just got to let those things slide and you can't let it bring you down. Because if you bring yourself down, then your business is going to go down with you. So, it was nice talking to you. One thing I want to say about going live is nobody cares what you look like. My hair is up in a bun. You can't even see it. I probably look like a boy. I have no makeup on at the moment other than my lash extensions. And I'm wearing Brandon's shirt. I don't care. I just ate dinner. I almost came live to eat dinner with y'all, but I'm really bad at talking and eating dinner at the same time. And I don't have no manners whenever I do that because of my home. So, just being honest and being real. <laughs> as always, oh, wait. I was going to say, as always, don't watch me join me. But this is in a group, and y'all are already since you can tell it. So, but I'll say it for my YouTubers. As always, don't watch me. Join me, and have a great night, guys.